Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's 808 State from the Big Island of Hawaii. Today we'll be talking about the Rurock Atlas 2.0. Is it tap or is it scrap? Stay tuned. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If this is the first time to my channel, I do drone tech, I do gear review, I do lenses, I do YouTube, I do whatever is possible that I can film, can make up. If you like the content, please subscribe. If you find it helpful, please leave a comment in the bottom below. Let me know what you think. I'll try to answer it. Now let's get to the meat of it. Rook Atlas 2.0. Is it tap? Is it scrap? Here are a few things that I really, really, really enjoy and really like about this helmet. First of all, Peripheral vision. Peripheral vision on this helmet is so huge, so big, you don't even realize that you're wearing a helmet. It's, it has so much room to the top, it has so much room to the sides. It is immense view vision for yourself. At first I thought that this front part, the front mask part would be in my way. It totally is not. Second of all, design. Design wise, if you look at this helmet, this helmet looks amazing. It is an eye catcher, a lot of people checking it out. Uh, a lot of people asking me where I got it from and where it's available to buy and I'll just refer them over, send them over to Rurok. Rurok is a UK based company. It's going to take some time to ship. They are solely online. As far as I'm aware of, they don't have any shops that you can go to. They don't have, they don't sell to any other retailers. It's not available on Amazon. If it is available on eBay, it's probably a used version. This helmet just came out and it's freaking light. It's 1,538 grams. Uh, all of carbon fiber and padding that does not include the shockwave that you can actually install over here which is a Bluetooth driven communication device that has speakers for your helmet it has a microphone for on the front an amazing great design with awesome airflow light and there are on the other hand two small issues that I have with this helmet and those are these paddings over here the way they are secured inside here they are kind of on the loose side like they they do come off um these clips that they used in order to secure these these pads these cheek pads are not the best so after a while using it it keeps coming off and i've seen a lot of people complain about it that it feels cheap or whatever it is and it doesn't really sit into place and it fit into place let me tell you something atlas 1.0 was released sometime last year six months later they listened to their customers and brought out the 2.0. What do you think is going to happen with the 3.0? Definitely going to change whatever issues had with this helmet. Because besides that the Bluetooth buttons for that shockwave are in the back of the helmet and the cheek pads not being firmly secured inside there, this helmet has no negative aspects. I've seen also online a lot of claims already of people that actually had an accident with this helmet. They were well protected. They had severe injuries to the rest of their body, either because not wearing proper gear or because the accident was really bad. But their melon in their head was completely secured. They had some, some amazing uh, uh, stories to tell about the crash that they had. That's it. This is Atlas Rurok 2.0, and I have to tell you, it comes super easy with an exchangeable system right over here on the sides. It takes you no longer than two minutes to clip off this visor over here taking it off, taking these two black pieces off at the end, put a new visor. Visor array wise, they have a lot of visors available. I mean, they have blue, red, green, yellow, gold, clear, smoke, not so smoke. And they have all these things going on with these visors and you just have to check if it's available in your country, if it's allowed in your country to, to, to use it, go for it. These things look great. They have a huge variety on selections for design wise they have them in black they have them in red they have them in white they have them in carbon they have great designs on it they have the toxin they have the ronin they have so many cool designs that the diablo is totally on fire these helmets are great would i spend 420 dollars for it as of time of this video this helmet cost 420 dollars i would honestly i would i would buy this helmet anytime I could because $420, it still protects your head. It is super lightweight. It barely feels like that you're wearing a helmet. 
The airflow is great for a climate like mine, tropic climate, and it's always hot 365 days a year. I can ride motorcycle. It is great. They also offer a pin lock system, which is like a film that you can put on the inside of the visor, which will be on these tinted visors. It won't even be visible. I believe in a clear one, it probably won't be visible either because it's on the inside of the visor. Plus, it helps a lot against fogging. Any helmet fogs, any visor does fog, especially when you stay on like traffic lights and the heat of the engine rises and all that stuff. So you're gonna have fogging happening, but as soon as you move with this helmet and the airflow starts going and it just blows it straight out, which is awesome. I say this helmet is totally worth the money that you can purchase it for at this point. Probably gonna drop lower in price, in, in price afterwards and Hey, if you're in a market for a new helmet, this is the helmet to go for. I totally love it. Like I said, the cheek pads and all that stuff, I'm probably gonna finagle around a little bit and find different clips to clip it in. But other than that, it feels comfortable. It is a right fit right off the bat. If you look at wind noise and all that stuff, wind noise, you're gonna have wind noise anyway. So if you are not really good with wind noise, you can use earplugs. I use uh, my PLT uh, fits, which is like earphones that I put in. They are noise canceling. I still can hear sirens. I still can hear the traffic on the outside. I still can hear my motorcycle. I can listen to music as well. And it's not anywhere in any type of way in the way of my ears with the cheek pads. It does not fly off, come off, whatever. Uh, I have totally no problems using this. The best part on this helmet, besides everything else that you've seen so far, is this fitlock system. I mean, this fitlock system is super easy. You pull this strap, and it's already open. So you don't have nothing like the D-Link, whatever that you have to scoop through. This is super easy. The red tab, pull it, done. This one, pow, you, you, you just put it in there. It's finished, it's, it's locked on already. You can pull on it. It's not going anywhere. Even if I pull from the inside up, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's really great. It's a great helmet. I totally love it. And it's super easy to handle. And Rural Atlas 2.0, that's all I can tell you. This is a tap helmet, it's totally awesome. If you're in the market for a helmet, click on the link, uh, click on the link in the description below. You'll find it there and choose your design to your liking, to the color of your bike, whatever it is, and have some fun. This is it, this is 808 State from the Big Island of Hawaii. Appreciate you guys all swinging by. Please don't forget, subscribe and like. Don't forget, COVID-19 is still out there. Be safe, wear your mask, wash your hands. Aloha, everybody.